tell us about the someday birds. Can you tell us what it's about and who, like who your intended audience is, like who would be perfect to read this? Yeah. Um, the someday birds is a middle grade book. It's considered, so it's G rated. Um, the reading level would probably work for anyone say in third or fourth grade all the way up. Um, there are, you know, a lot of parents and grandparents even that have re read it and liked it too. So I hesitate to say it's just a middle grade book. When I wrote it, I was hoping it was for everyone. Um, but you'll find it in the middle grade sections of bookstores and such. And it's the story of a boy named Charlie. He's 12 years old. He, um, he likes things very orderly. He likes things the same. He is, he has a father, um, but no mom, his mom died long ago. And he has a kind of pushy gruff grandma that helps to take care of him. His dad works as a high school English teacher and also as a journalist. And his dad was injured in um, Afghanistan while he was there covering the story. So that's Charlie's background. Now, poor Charlie loves birds. That's like the one thing that he loves more than anything else. And it was his um, the one thing that united him with his dad that they shared together was the love of birds. So his dad used to have to try to help Charlie feel more like say, Charlie, come on, we'll go out and look for birds. You know, let's make up a list of birds we hope to see in the wild someday. Because Charlie doesn't like the wild. He likes the birds in the house on the page of his Audubon book that he can draw and copy. But going out and getting messy and dirty was not his thing. A nice controlled environment. Yeah. So dad saying, no, we're going to go out and, you know, get messy and see this list of someday birds, of birds we're going to see in the wild someday. And Charlie wasn't really into it. But then after dad gets injured, he, Charlie and his older sister Davis and his little twin brothers who are super annoying, um, Joel, Joel and Jake, they, they end up having to go on a road trip across the country to see their dad, to meet up with him and their gram. And a mysterious babysitter that their grandmother has hired, this mysterious lady that's kind of winnowed her way into their life in the hospital room there. And they don't know much about her, but she's the one taking them across. And they don't know, they're puzzled by her and don't know what her mysterious connection is to their father um, and his background. But that becomes clear as they drive across country. And as they do, Charlie also decides that almost as a gift he can give his dad, what he's going to do to try to make the journey bearable is to try to find and check off all of those birds as he travels, all the birds on the someday list, that, so that he can you know, tell his dad that he's seen all the birds. So it probably helped him get through the journey as well. Yeah, so it's a road trip story, and it's a quest, and it's a mystery, um, and it's funny in parts, and it's very touching in parts, I hope. <laughs> and um, yeah, so that's the story of, of Charlie. 